Hi and welcome to this very quick answer of this question. So in this case I would like to complement this, this answer that this user gave already and update it to mm, nowadays standards. So the question is the following. This user, what, what he or she wants is to work with different type of messages types. So this to do this, you have to detect, you have to know what type of, of message you have and then work with that. So I'm going to do um, a small example of how to detect those type of messages, what type of messages are you receiving and do something useful with it. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case, I, I've used RDS and I'm going to use ROS Development Studio to do this. So I, I've moved to the public section where there are some simulations that you can use and in this case I'm going to use the, the Kabuki. So I'll just launch it, the main launch as it is. Here we are. So once you have it all loaded, you can start working through the web shell and the IDE. But just to, I've selected this simulation because you have the Kabuki robot with a laser, and then you have some systems like the Kinect, uh, the Ixtion in this case, and you can move it around, and you have odometry. So it's a very good place to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is. I'm going to go to my workspace, so Catkin workspace, uh, source, yeah. So here is basically what I have here in my in the IDE. So I'm going to create a package, a ROS package, so Catkin create package. Uh, I don't know, my package, then ROS by. As dependency because we are going to do it in, in Python uh, and that's it there we go so once we have our package here it will maybe uh, it can take like a few seconds to refresh but basically what I have here in the source is what I have here in the IDE. So here I'm going to create a new folder. Scripts. Just because uh, it's the way of doing it with Python, especially if it's a script. So it's not something, a module that you're going to use in another package. If, if it's a module that you want to use in another package, then you would put it in the source folder, but in this case it will be just a script. So I'm going to create, let's do this a bit bigger, there we go. So here I'm going to, I don't know, mul multiple uh, message type, .py, and then I'm, I have it already done. So. There we go, and I'm going to explain just a bit what I've done. So basically, it's a Python script where I'm importing some stuff. In this case, I'll use the laser and the odometry. And here we have the type of messages. So we have the laser scan type, and we have the odometry type. And essentially what I've done is I've done, uh, I will create two subscribers to two different type of messages. So laser scan and odometry. And they get it from, in this case, so odometry from, from the topic autumn. And the laser scan type messages from Kobuki laser scan topic. This is basically the laser readings, distance readings. And this one is the odometry data from the Kabuki robot, yeah? 
So what I'm going to do is they are going to share the same callback. And this is the function that will need to detect what type of messages are it, it's, it's getting this, this callback in order to do one thing or another. So in this case, as you can see, it's using this common callback that we have it here, and it's getting messages. It doesn't care what type of messages. So here we process the message, and this is the, the important part, really. What you have to do is put type message dot type. That's it. You can do it also with this, with this like this. So type messages, type, uh, type message. But it's a bit more messy because it's a class and so on. So this is the, the perfect way of doing it. So let's, let's see something. Just a second. So I'm going to comment this for the moment. And I'm going to activate the debug. So here basically what I'm doing is initializing the node with the debug log level. So I can see the, the debug messages. Okay. So essentially what we're going to see is what's the value of this message dot type to see how we detect it. Okay. So in this case, what's, what's going to happen is that every time this subscriber or this subscriber, sorry, this subscriber or this subscriber gets a message of type laser scan or odometry, what they'll do is call this function common callback and this one will get the message type and print it and we'll see exactly what value you are you are getting there so I'm going to go back I'm going to source then ROS back profile this is to when you create a new package in ROS you have to source and update basically the Rust pack profile so that you can find it. So now if I do Rust run uh, my package, it auto completes and then multiple message sign. So there we go. So there we go. I'm going to stop it. So what we are getting is, as you can see, Well, I'm, yeah, so as you can see here, we are getting the message type, which is this, this log here, and this message type and the message type. In this case, it's sensor messages, laser scan, laser scan, odometry. As you can see, the frequency of laser scan, it's probably higher than the one of odometry because we're getting more laser scans than an odometry. But basically this is what you're getting. So perfect. Because now we have a system to detect what type of message you're getting in this function. So now what I'm going to do is okay, so with this with this variable that has these two variables, uh, these two values so these two possible values, sensor messages, laser scan, and odometry. So now I just have to detect it like this and then do something. So if I get a laser scan, then I'll save it in my laser center distance, for example. So I get messages dot ranges. So in the laser scan, you have variables here and one of them is ranges, which has all the all the distances of all the rays of the of the laser so in this case i'm interested on getting only the center one so here let's let's have a 
let's do something because maybe it's rviz. So, sorry, rush one, rviz, rviz. And there we go. So now I'm going to just paint the lasers for you. I'm going to select uh, base link, for example, and I'm going to add also some robot model. There we go. And I'm going to select laser scan. There we go. So as you can see, what I want to get, let's, what I want to get is from all these points. So this would be an array. So what I want is just the value of this point. So the one that it's just in the middle. So what I'll do is from the array, get the middle and then get that point. And that will be the distance just, just in front of the robot. Okay. Okay. So, so then it's here, like would be this, this value. So I'm, go I'm getting that value and saving it here. If for the, on the other hand, if the message type is odometry, then I do a totally different thing. So the structure of the message is different. So I'll have to do pose dot pose dot position. And I'm getting the position of the robot. So X, Y, and Z. Okay, so now I'm going to change it to the warning um, values or to the, yeah, to the warning values. So basically, it doesn't matter if I comment it or uncomment this. So if, if I comment this info, it won't be printed because it's the info level. So it will only print this, these values. So multiple subs, so it's accessing these values, these variables here, which are updated in this common callback. So it's laser center distance, laser center distance, and uh, Kobuki position, Kobuki position. And it's update, they are updated at their own pace, depending on the rate of refresh of these two topics. Okay, but bear in mind, that we're using the same callback. That's the, the basis of this exercise. So now if, if let's close our viz and rerun it again. Okay, now we're getting the position and the distance. So we have position X, Y, and Z, and we have the laser distance reading that it's around two meters and the position in x more or less zero y zero zero because it, it's in the origin of the system okay for the final test what i'm going to do is i'm going to spawn a new web shell and we're going to let's put it like this Good. Whoop. Perfect. So here we have the readings. So the distance. Uh, here we are. So the distance basically, and then the position. So what I'm going to do now is um, here we have these this mini tutorial where that ex explains and give us some gives us some examples of how to use the Kabuki robot. So I've just copy pasted this ROS launch to move it with a keyboard. So I launch this, there we go. And then as I move forward, 
you can see that now, for example, if I stop now, we have a distance reading of around 1.4, and the distance, as you can see, y and z hasn't changed, haven't changed, but the x value has increased in one meter. One meter is more or less one square, so perfectly, so perfect. And if I get closer and closer to the wall, as you can see now, the distance reading is around 0 0.5, and I've moved around two meters, so two squares, so perfect. So this proves that this system works, that you can use, so let's, let's put this here, so that we can, there we go, I can stop it. So as conclusion, answering this question, so to, to get the type of the messages that you're, you're getting, that a function, a library, whatever it's getting, the only thing that you have to do is message dot type like this. That's it. And then you can work with it and use it as, as you want. And you can recycle a, a lot of code so that you, you don't need, for example, two callbacks, one for each one, but you have a common callback and it just adapts to the type of messages. Okay, and in this case, we've used it to process two different type of messages, laser scan and odometry. So that's it. Thank you very much. I hope this helped. And if you want more content and know, learn about ROS, please give a like and think about subscribing if you haven't and uh, hit that bell to get the latest notifications and see you soon. Thank you.